Eric Kim is a trap monster. Okay, so trap demigod. Okay, so trap, trap, trap. Right? You don't want to. Uh, you don't want to sell drugs and uh, be a trapper. Go under the rack pulls. Do the seven plate rack pull and uh, build some traps that can move the water. But anyways, okay. So some uh, some thoughts. Magnum photographers are bad. So it seems that nowadays everyone is seeking some sort of legitimacy or supremacy to their photography and uh, stuff, right? So it looks like everybody wants to become a Magnum photographer. And ultimately, everyone is giving a fellatio to Henri Cartier-Bresson and da da da. But a philosophical thought is any sort of collective anything is bad. So to be even associated with any sort of group is not a good thing. So even, um, you know, Nietzsche, for example, right? Probably one of the greatest philosophers of all time. He wasn't part of no philosophical school. And that's actually what made him um, so much more independent and free. Any sort of artist who's part of any artistic movement too, like, you know, the Cubists, the Dadaists, the whatever it is, they, they never get remembered. Um, even like Picasso, right? Like, you know, he was kind of part of the Cubist movement, but um, he was intelligent in so far much as during his life, he um, made Picasso Picasso, he did his own thing. And so we still remember Picasso, we don't remember his uh, contemporaries. Um, even, you know, you think about like uh, more contemporary stuff like Migos, right? I think most people don't really know the individual name of the Migos members. They know Migos as a concept. Even the Beatles, right? Like, you know, Beatles. No kid nowadays either A knows who the Beatles is nor cares. Yet everyone knows who Kanye West is because he's an individual. Um, and this is also where like a, a Jay Z or an Eminem is quite robust because you know they've they've done their uh, solo career. Um, even uh, Justin Timberlake, he uh, spread his wings once he left NSYNC. And Beyonce, was she part of Destiny's Child? One of those groups? I forget what. But anyways. So, why is it that everyone wants to become sort of collective or whatever? It's, um, I don't know, I think uh, people, okay, if you want to be part of collective, you're signaling some sort of weakness where you think that, oh, I'm not strong enough or powerful enough and that I need other people to help promote me, help me find money, assignments, etc. And the reason why it's such a bad line of thinking is you become less independent free. Like, I like the idea that, you know, people are like, oh, Eric Kim's only successful because he's good at marketing. But yet what people do not understand is marketing is success. Like there is no sort of company, brand, individual, da, 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 who could become successful in modern day consumerism, capitalism, the world without marketing, right? Um, <laughs> so when people say X, Y, Z is only successful because they are good at marketing, maybe what they should say is they are a genius at marketing and therefore that's why they got so successful or maybe they should just understand once again success and marketing is essentially the the, the same thing um it's interesting too because like whenever i look at tesla cars if you look at tesla cars really close up right superficially at least the exterior the quality is actually really poor like i'm like looking at like it's a hundred thousand dollar two hundred thousand dollar eighty thousand dollar car i'm like it looks so cheap but the reason why Elon was able to build such a cult following is that when you buy a Tesla, you ain't buying a Tesla, you're buying like an Elon Musk mobile. You're buying into the marketing, the branding, the concept of Elon Musk. And the authenticity is deep. Like if even if you look at the UI, UX, like the cozy campfire mode and stuff like that, there's humor injected into everything. Even the notion of plaid, right? Like I didn't read the what Spaceballs Guide to the Galaxy or whatever. Um, but it's like there's only something faster than light speed it's plaid so being able to just have a sense of humor is a hugely beneficial thing in regards to entrepreneurship uh, anything in between and also with photography right like everyone's trying to be such a you know, like a 
legit photographer, right? And he's like, ways people do stuff. I only shoot fully manual or I shoot raw or whatever, right? Um, and it's funny too, cause like you're a photographer, right? People forget that photographers are also human beings who like to do other things like eat meat, lift weights, have a kid, think philosophically. And I think also even but nowadays, uh, even my friend uh, Anton said, right? It's like the only people who survived through COVID and thrived and long-term success, whatever, they essentially became individuals and personalities. What does it mean to become a personality? A personality is a person like you, use a person, right? And you can just do everything yourself. I mean, even uh, the more I think about it, right? You don't want to have an assistant. You don't want to have a manager. You don't want to have nobody else but yourself. And the benefit and upside of this is that you become more uh, independent. You don't want no contractors, stuff like that. Even like the reason why I would also not uh, wish home maintenance on my worst enemy is that like, I don't know how to, I don't know how to maintain a house. The water heater breaks, I don't know how to fix it. And so uh, a good heuristic in life, good rule of thumb is don't do nothing that you couldn't do and fix yourself, even with cars, right? Like. Uh, my biggest pride of my OG car, the 91 Sentra SCR B13 SR20DE, I knew how to fix everything myself. I knew how to change my oil, I knew how to change the alternator, you know, spark plugs, whatever. If you get a car, only get a car that you could actually fix and maintain yourself. Seems like a wise idea. Like if something in your car breaks, could you fix it? It's like a simple thought, right? Uh, maybe this is also where hybrid vehicles are bad because if let's say the battery goes out you can't fix it whereas if you have like you know one of these unsexy gasoline automobile things you could just go to craig and or o'reilly whatever you want to call it autozone and you can fix it yourself um even with website website admin stuff like i've always found that the best way to learn through something is through a need where something on my website ain't working correctly and then I have to figure out, I have to go around and figure out how to fix it. And that's that's actually how one learns. Um, and yeah, and I think more photographers should go solo, right? On your own domain, um, even with your email address, don't do some sort of lame Gmail or link to your Instagram. Instagram's for losers. Don't have an Instagram, delete your Instagram. The best way to become free is to delete your Instagram. It's like, yeah, but you have my followers, stuff like that. I'm like, yeah, just imagine yourself like the hunchback in the movie 300 and the moment he betrays King Leonidas in the 300 um, and became a, a petty slave for King Xerxes. That's that's what, that's what you like if he's on the gram. That's like Mark Zuckerberg is your King Xerxes and you're you're essentially giving fellatio to, to Mark. Um, you know, I think Mark's cool, but I don't want to be giving fellatio to nobody. If, if somebody offered me a trillion dollars to give fellatio to said person X, I would say, no, thank you. Um, so this is, uh, yeah, not, not good. Um, so anyways, when it comes to life and stuff like that, seek to become more and more solo. Um, oh yeah, sorry, with your own website domain. Da, da, da. Don't have a Gmail. Have your own website domain. So, for example, I own airkim.com. Cindy helped uh, buy it for me. Like, I think at the time, like a few years ago, I paid like maybe a thousand bucks or something. A lot of money at the time, but uh, very worth it. So, my email is just eric at erickim.com. So, that looks much more gangster than, you know, mysterious images, photos at gmail.com. Nowadays, gmail.com, having a Gmail address is almost like having a new AOL address kind of don't take them as seriously um yeah don't, don't do it have your own uh domain uh even people like let me check out your photos what's your insta bro <laughs> no instagram just uh your website it looks much more um legit or even uh better yet you know just tell people to google you just like just google me eric kim right um or you know whatever your first name last name photography just Eric Kim, Eric Kim Photography, whatever, Eric Kim Blog. Or if you really want to become next level, you just become a, a concept, a, a monogram. You just become EK. Oh, Okay. 
오케이. 어, 오케이. 그러면 한 바퀴 더 했어 내가 이렇게. 한 바퀴 더. 엄마가 그 슈퍼 할머니. 오케이. 아. Yes, so uh, becoming a more solo photographer. No collectives, no social media. Social media is slave media. Like, if you think about it, right? Even from an economic perspective, like how did Facebook, Meta become so, you know, successful or rich? You essentially create a platform and you get people to till the land. Digital serfs, the called uh, digital slavery or digital... Uh, sharecropping and then you get them to populate you know create everything and put in the labor and then you maintain the platform and then you just stick ads in between it like it's that's genius <laughs> it's like get people to do free slave labor for you and then you put ads in between it you make money i'm like wow that's genius <laughs> like Cindy has this a fun idea it's like for a moving company you take all the crossfitters or silicon valley peoples it's like Y'all can move furniture, functional fitness, and get swole. And then you have the moving company and the, you're the one charging. You charge them money to be part of your moving company and you also make money from moving them. That's double dipping. That's like, that's some like um, Mark Twain, Tom Sawyer level. That's, that's, that's smart. Yeah, if Facebook is really smart, get people to pay money to use Facebook. And then people upload stuff to Facebook, then they also put ads on it. I'm like, that's genius. like this is also where I think magazines are such a scam. It's like you're already done bought the magazine. You pay money to buy the magazine or subscribe to the magazine. You put in more ads in the magazine I already paid for. That's crazy. Like that's a, like you paying for YouTube Premium, and still there's ads. I'm like, get out, get out my face, right? Uh, but anyways, uh, yeah, Magnum is bad. I wouldn't wor wish magnum membership upon my worst enemy i've never met a happy magnum photographer uh, looks like they're all strapped for cash uh, don't know how to promote themselves so yeah i think uh, more photographers should just become entrepreneurial become self-owned